All right. Oh, man. Here we are. What's up, everybody? Charlie checking in. Okay. Just checking up on a little popper real quick. It's been a long time, man. How's it going? Thank you all for joining that are uh, that are here uh, waiting. Uh, this uh, this stream, guys, uh, 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 got a lot going on tonight. You know me. I've been trying to stay out of like the live streams and uh, drama, as it were, trying to, um, you know, do better, live better, vlog, you know, better content, you know, for the AGP community. Um, uh, actually, I lie. I hadn't been vlogging in a while, have I, guys? Holy crap. I'm sorry. Anyways, man, uh, uh, forgive me. It has been a while, and uh, I'm kind of nervous tonight, guys. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really want to go into any sort of bashing session, you know, too hard on johnny okay first off if anybody doesn't know you know if you're coming into this you know like charlie what's up or whatever apparently a uh, couple of, or last night i guess um johnny uh ended up doing a, uh, a, an interview with um some random youtuber you know that i think had done a i went and looked at this channel and this guy had done a couple of videos of grandpa i couldn't necessarily know what to make of it you know uh whether it was bashing or not you know um uh but apparently this guy reached out to johnny they did an interview and it turned out to pretty much be like a basically a hatchet job on 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 charlie chill you know on me and uh it was unfortunate you know that johnny was the uh um, the one that they used pretty much, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to use for a better word. You know what I mean? I love Johnny. He has issues and, uh, you know, I think it's just, you know, he's, uh, you know, we're going to get into it. I love you, Johnny. I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and trash you too bad. You know, I'm going to have to speak some, some facts, some truths, you know, but I'm not going to, you know, be very toxic about it. You know, I'm just going to state it for what it is and uh, uh um leave it at that you know for the viewers um to decide for themselves anyway so let's go ahead and give some shout outs first you know star meadow blues my homeboy tan may always in the trenches for me thank you tan may dude uh you are something else man you know you had michael triggered the other night <laughs> i noticed that he responded may like 10 or 12 times and deleted everything on some some crazy shit and uh i guess maybe michael felt like he was afraid that he was gonna get you know catfished you know bait and switched you know reported and and have his shit suspended or whatever so he deleted it all but anyway tan may you deserve a big shout out man you're an awesome guy you know you've been you know a loyal friend and support for you know a long time since damn near the beginning you know and i uh, appreciate you man Star Meadows, Andre uh, Gudmanson, MJ Jr., faux pas in the house. Much love to my dude faux pas right there, kicking kicking uh, Isaac's ass on a daily basis. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what, dude, like, it's crazy, man, what the angry grandpa community has become, huh? I mean, isn't it? You know, it used to be a fun place, bro, and now you got Michael doing his, you know, sad-ass, belly-aching bullshit, clickbait dumb shit. You know, you got his his strong arm stoolie Isaac, you know, doing his damn drama streams, you know, and attacking other communities and smaller, you know, uh, grandpa fans and other, you know, other drama communities, you know, so they're all kind of tied in with some other bullshit, you know? Uh, and then you got like my friends and followers, you know, who are, um, <laughs> supporting me and following me while uh, also attacking, not attacking, but, you know, fighting back at Isaac and, and Michael, you know what I mean? And, 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 you know, telling them what it really is, you know, because for the longest time, so many of you had been uh, uh, manipulated and controlled and led to believe something, you know, so false, you know, that, you know, once the light of day was brought before you, you know, you felt pissed, you're angry, you know, you want answers. And, you know, Michael and them, they don't like that type of shit. They'll block you before they uh, before they, they speak any truth you know, et cetera. So Junior Gutierrez is in the house. My boy, Junior, much love to you and the family, man. He's always been a grandpa, loyal fan and supporter, continues to, despite all this just 
bombed out fucking mess of what's left of the community, you know. My girl Chrissy, Rebecca in the house, uh, 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 thank y'all for joining and always being friends. Chrissy, those peppers are, are awesome, all except for maybe, what was those, <laughs> cowboy candy? I don't know if I got into that too much, you know what I'm saying, but I still appreciate you making them, you know, you know, effort, you know, and, and sharing with me, you know, a little piece of, you know, your life, you know, has, you know, as I've shared with all of you over these years. And it means a lot to me, man. Spooky Mama's in the house. Uh, Brandon Deluxe, Darth Vader, Don, Dark Face, Don, Dan the Man, Clips. I ain't done this well. I used to be able to prattle this shit off. Emmanuel Pinuero, Simply Odun, Saved by the Blood of the Precious Jesus Christ. Derek Clips, uh, uh, Saved by the Precious Blood, says uh, Michael has rats. Yeah, that was weird. Didn't you see? It was weird how he started out his video. He's selling the house and then like instant, like, I mean, I don't, I don't know how long it took him. Not long. Five minutes, you know, he changed the video to something about having rats or whatever. I don't know if that's a subliminal shot at Johnny, you know. Uh, I, I honestly feel like, you know, Michael, you know, Johnny had the okay because Michael hook this guy up, you know what I mean, for doing this video, you know, hatchet job, attack job of me, which they claimed was an interview with grandpa's youngins, you know, orchestrated to, you know, be a questionnaire between the fans and stuff, but really was, you know, a smash on Charlie. Like all the guys questions were all anti Charlie. And then not one fucking grandpa fan question was about me at all. Like this guy, it was, it was so we're going to, we're going to listen to it. I don't know how much I can share, like, like clip wise or whatever, but we're going to listen to it. Um, I know I could, uh, I, I had to co go live with this earlier. So, uh, the normal, so some of y'all aren't going to be able to catch this live. Uh, but I got to work tomorrow. I got to get, I get up early, you know, three 30 in the morning to do my exercises, um, you know, and get everything ready. I'm, I'm yeah. Anyway. You know, I, I got a life to live. I'm not necessarily a YouTuber. You know what I mean? I'm just a regular average Joe, just like all of you guys. You know what I mean? I go out and I work and make my money. And, uh, oh, Moiki dropped me a $2 bomb. Thank you so much. Says Johnny reached out to DRL. Nobody used anyone. Well, you know, like the thing is, Johnny does have Asperger's, right? Like Johnny is, isn't Johnny supposed to be collecting a disability check? Johnny is not necessarily exactly full on with this, you know, and if it was Johnny reaching out to this guy, you know what I mean, to pretty much bash me, it seemed like the guy was very eager to do so, you know, in the comment section, you can see this guy clearly, you know, defending Michael and Bridget and them while not even trying to reach out to me, this guy tried to be a reporter, he tried to be an investigator, or some sort of bullshit, you know, 2020 crime uh, uh uh sleuth shit you know and uh, uh i ain't heard a word from him you know like uh, all this shit is pretty much like uh, uh uh past tense bullshit you know what i mean uh uh without any you know insight into how i've been living my life over these last five years you know what i mean so anyways if that's the case, you know what I mean? It's really upsetting. You know, apparently, Johnny, you know, you lost your YouTube channel for bullying somebody. Apparently, we're going to get into that, you know. So, I don't understand what, how you're trying to reach any sort of, like, YouTube pinnacle or achievement point whenever you could potentially lose your channel at any point. You know what I mean? And I'm telling you that. I'm saying so, you know, from a fucking very seasoned standpoint. You know what I mean? Take it for what it's worth. I, more than anybody else, know what it's like to fuck up and then not be able to have that ground anymore. You know what I mean? So, unfortunately, I don't know what happened with that. <sighs> Man, I'm not going to sit here and try it and presume shit. And, you know, I, I want to get facts right. I, you know me. I've always tried to state myself on facts and base, uh, 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 you know, my arguments on 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 you know, evidence and shit that I know to be, to be true, you know, and, uh, you know, that's how my, uh, uh, I guess you could say what my credibility, that's the exact word. My credibility is so much higher than Michael's Mr. Clickbait behind a camera. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this, 
uh, video here now from, I don't even know who the fuck this fucking dude is. Like, he's like, let's see here, uh, DPR8235. Earlier today, he had like 920-something subscribers or whatever. Now he's just over a 1,000. You know, I feel like, uh, uh, you know, it was just another ploy to try and get some views and subscribers out of Charlie Chill, out of some old shit. And, uh, you know, they really got Johnny here, you know, just spitting a whole bunch of lies and bullshit, you know what I mean, that are going to make him, you know, look like a liar. You know what I mean? Make him look like he's being controlled and manipulated. This isn't the first time that Johnny accuses me of giving him drugs and alcohol. And we're about to get into it right now. Matter of fact, let's go ahead. All right. So uh, what was this? 22 hours ago, 18,000 views. It seemed, This seems like a hot one, especially for a guy with... He had less than a thousand subscribers, you know, not eight hours ago before I went to work. I woke up this morning to a, a, a message from my friend, Brianna. Much love to you, Brianna. Uh, appreciate you always keeping me posted. And uh, 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 yeah, kind of staying in the in the shadows, but it don't matter because y'all don't know which Brianna she is anyway. So Miss Rachel Lynn in the house. How are you doing tonight, Rachel? I noticed I saw your... Um, rice bowls that you got set up for work look pretty good i need to get back into eating the salads my damn self as you see man oh check me out Woo! yeah i'm still i'm still doing pretty good i'm still on my diet i'm 166 kind of floating in between 160 uh, and 170 165 or 170 really Still doing my workouts, man, my, my pull-ups, my push-ups. And I've also here recently uh, incorporated the uh, the pull-up. Like, what do you call those? Uh, pull-up pull, pull rows. I saw my boy Bananas on, uh, what was that damn, uh, uh, what's that one damn, damn Erica? It was some some new reality show that we tried to watch we didn't really like. It had, it had Bananas in it, Omarosa. Um, they, I forget, you know. It seemed like a good cast, but we tried it and it just it just wasn't produced well. But anyway, I was talking about the bananas. You know, he was doing these push-ups and that with with the dumbbells that I use. You know what I mean? And as he pushed up, he'd earn and earn. And you know what's that called? <laughs> you know. Anyway, I've been working out trying to keep myself fit and in shape. And um, and yeah, I need to get back to eating salads because I've been eating a lot of junk. Drinking a lot of these energy drinks, man. Check it out. Matter of fact, I'm about to pop open another one. These right here, you can get them really cheap, man. 16 bucks a case on uh, Amazon. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've been kind of consisting on. Crackers and energy drinks. And uh, it's not good for me. I need to get some more greens back in my life. Anyway, so this guy... Uh, either Johnny reached out to him or Michael reached out to the guy or uh, who knows. I can't presume who reached out to who. Um, all I know is that there was a lot of, uh, um, bullshit, a lot of, a lot of claims and, and, and allegations, you know, thrown out with zero evidence or facts, you know, once again, you know, and it's just hard to believe that, you know. Once again, Michael isn't behind the shit because I honestly, guys, here lately, I've been talking some shit. I've been I've kind of I've kind of amped up on my shit talk, laughing at Michael, you know, because his views have just been in the shitter. You know what I mean? It takes him over a week now to hit a hundred thousand views. You know when you know that was an overnight thing for him. You know easily, and uh, it's just you know really not looking good for him or the grandpa community, and I and it's like a Double-edged sword, you know, I hate to see it happen, you know, but, you know, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy, Michael, anyway, you know, because Grandpa still has his videos out there, he's gone, he's he's no more, you know, his youngins have what he has has given, has left with them uh, 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 to rock on with, you know what I mean, it's like me with a Nirvana album, or, or you know, uh, uh, Discology, is it Discology? Uh you know, and like, that's all I got left. So you just enjoy what they fucking, what, what he has given you, you know, and that's it. And meanwhile, that's why they hate Michael so much because everything that he produces and puts out and in the name of grandpa or tries to glom off, of, you know, uh, grandpa's community with, you know, it's just shit. It's garbage, you know, and, uh, you know, grandpa's community has revolted against him in a big way, you know, and, uh, 
it was just steadily on the downs, you know, and and I've been over here just laughing and joking and talking shit, and I know that it's been getting on his fucking nerves. Matter of fact, he's deleting and, and, and blocking his own people on Twitter right now just for even saying that his views are low. You know what I mean? Like this yes man, like he is so desperate to keep, you know, his point of view uh, relevant, you know, not only in his community's eyes, but also in his own eyes, man. You know, uh, you know, each little crack in that armor, you know, really fucking magnifies just how, you know, bad it's gotten. You know what I mean? You know how when you go through and you see these comments and shit and they're all good and they're all good. And then you just see that one bad comment. And you're like, ah, kind of gets you a little bit, don't it? You know, it does us all. If you're fucking human. You know, what I mean, it kind of gets you a little bit, you know, unless you're the Dolly fucking llama, huh? You know, I mean, even me, after all this time, every now and again, it's like, eh, you know, um, and you kind of magnify on that one bad comment as opposed to all that good shit, you know what I mean? And the more that you realize you see it in your own head, you know what I mean? The less you really want to hear from others, you know, and uh, haha, my dude poppers, damn, popping them tonight. Pop, pop. That's faux show. My homie faux po. Hey, bro, speaking of pop, pop, man. What's up with them motherfuckers playing real life Doom in Isaac's backyard last year, the year and a half? That crazy ass Call of Duty video we saw. I thought it was Call of Duty, but it turned out the motherfucker was aiming that shit in Isaac's backyard. I was like, oh, shit. That's crazy. Someone's done gotten nutty. Shit's done got to be real. Well, apparently Isaac's trying to fucking goad yet another motherfucker into coming to his house and starting it while well, Isaac's got his kids and what you gonna send your kids next door again while you hide behind the door with a samurai sword and a baseball bat why are you even fucking trying to attract that sort of drama and heat to your fucking life to your house where your kids are chilling where your kids fucking live stupid fuckers oh I, I said I wasn't gonna do this <laughs> I was gonna relax and calm you know but I'm not talking about Johnny right now. You know, it just it just really sucks. You know what I'm saying? Just to see where the angry grandpa community is, man. You know, how long did they sit there and they try to uh, 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 encourage you all uh, uh, and grant, you know, you beat into your head that I was the, the negative one, the drama filled hate junkie, you know, who who just couldn't leave it alone. Right. And yet here I am. I haven't done a live stream since when? When was my last live stream? Months ago. Uh oh, am I lagging? Looks like it says I've got a good connection. What up, immortal? Damn, Jesse says, uh, fuck. All right, am I lagging, guys? Let me check my shit out real quick. That sucks. Where am I at? Where am I at? All right. I'm looking right now. It seems like I'm good. I'm looking right now. It seems like I'm good. Except I don't like my voice, man. I kind of feel like I sound like Uncle Bobby or something. Hey, how you doing? Oh, uh, Spooky's mama says when Dougie passed, tears. Yes, man. R.I.P. Dougie, dude. Man, we love you, man. I feel like I didn't do that live stream proper justice. Was that my last live stream that I did? Was when Dougie passed? You know, and I feel like I was just more caught up in like myself and, and, you know, and what they fucking did to me and Dougie, you know what I mean? And, uh, I just focused more on that bullshit rather than celebrating Dougie and, you know, sharing like proper fond memories, you know, and I, I want to apologize to Dougie. And I want to apologize to you all for that. You know what I mean? Because, and myself, man, I could have done better, you know, maybe one day. You know, there's always tomorrow, right? Try to be hopeful. Try to be optimistic always, guys. If you look at me, that's one thing that you can, you know, take from, you know, the struggle, you know, and 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 and, and pushing through daily, you know what I mean, is, is uh, uh, and dealing with the bullshit, you know what I mean, is that there is merit and value in staying positive, bro, because like you can either get negative with shit, you know what I'm saying, and you can constantly just fucking stay in the dumps and like that fucking shoe won't tie right, or you tried to open that window three times and it kept falling down, and on the, and on the fourth time you're like, ah, look at this life of the world is against me, you know what I mean, or you can say, Stop, take a breath, roll the, hold the window up and get you a stick or something and boom, 
you're done with it. And then you can smile and then you can enjoy the fresh air. Or you could be stuck, you know, with the window closed, you know, in your own hot breath. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, yeah, you know, so like I just try to, you know, despite all the bullshit and the pain and the trauma that I went through, make no make no uh, mistakes about it. What I went through is traumatic as hell. Those what that year, year and a half, the summer of Charlie Chell. You know what I mean? Sleeping on a, a Greyhound bus floor, bus station floor, trying my hardest to go see my dad whenever Michael's telling everybody that dad doesn't want to see me, that dad's afraid. First off, he told everyone that dad, uh, that I didn't want to come see dad. Then whenever he saw that I was coming, then he tried to switch it to dad was afraid of me, yada, yada, yada. And then he tried to switch it to I'm not stopping Charlie. Well, what was it? Now, why wouldn't you try and stop me if dad was afraid? Like, bro, you know, you made so much fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? That, you know, it doesn't add up, man. People... People that have grown since 2017, man, there was a time where media and, 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 and bloggers, you know, YouTubers and uh, uh, influencers were fucking influencing and you were very influencing. And guess what? It's over now. Like people have grown to learn, you know, that they've been lied to. Let me tell you what, man, I'm sorry. I might catch some flack for this shit or whatever, but, you know, y'all remember a time y'all were giving me my ass. Remember whenever I was trying to give you your ass you know, for like COVID shots. And I was all with the government and I'm like, we need to take these shots and they wouldn't lie to us, yada, yada. And that was just 2020. And dude, I've done a complete 180. I can't believe I ever trusted the fucking government. Uncle Sam, Daddy Bo, Daddy Biden, Daddy fucking Obama, Daddy fucking Bush, Daddy Clinton. Shit. You know, like, you know, you get, you come to the point where you don't know what to believe, you know, in our society and what was what and when. Anyways, you know, I, 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 thankfully this video exists because you know me, I will branch back to this video, guys. So it's a 17 minute long video. Uh, like I say, it was called Exclusive Energy View with Jonathan Watson, grandchild of the angry grandpa. Uh, it was supposed to be kind of like an interview about Johnny and then like a questionnaire from fans. Uh, all the questions, 90% of the questions from this guy, DPR, uh, was, you know, about me in a negative light, you know, without any sort of attempt to find the truth. And then all the grandpa fans wanted to know stuff about grandpa and Johnny, you know, and it was just real weird how this was done. And I felt like responding. So let's get back to this shit. What's up, Dustin? Mr. Whistle in the house. Nene, my homegirl Nene. How you been doing? PR 8235 here, and I'm here with Jonathan, right. uh, the angry grandson. Yeah. Jonathan, the angry Jonathan. grandson. Okay, so. Does an interview. I'm going to get right into the questions and you looked over them and you're completely comfortable with discussing them right oh shit i gotta pause that real quick because dave c says you unfriended me on facebook for not wanting to get the covid shot feel really bad about that well man i you know i don't know if you're talking about you feeling bad or me but i do feel bad about that you know there was ah <sighs> Man, quite a few of you guys, you know what I mean? That I kind of said, yeah, you know, you're stupid, you know, fuck you, um, you know, ostracized you, you know, just kind of just dismissed you out of my lives over some fucking bullshit that I was lied to, man. But if anything, man, any consolation, I want you all to know that I truly believed it at the time that, I, you know, that I, and I, I truly trusted in my government, you know, I truly believed that, you know, they would. I don't and I don't understand why because part of me believed in 9/11 you know I mean I don't know. Now I'm a completely different man than than I, than I was you know what three years ago four years ago you know and, and and I'm willing to admit that and apologize to you and everybody else that I unfriended you know and if you want to hit me up in Messenger we can discuss it and uh, maybe re reconnect some sort of way you know. Because I don't expect y'all to just come back, you know, without like a public apology. Not not a public. Like, I don't want you to get up online like, oh, I apologize to him because that's bullshit. I shouldn't have to do that. You know, but hit me up in private and I'll definitely be willing to just tell you mono e mono or mono e e fem, you know, that, you know, that I was wrong. 
Uh, anyways, let's get back to this. 19 seconds in, and I bounce off again. I'm sorry. You are? Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Have a look at Johnny. Right, so He's got himself a big old beard go going right now. First one. So you have a channel called – you had a channel called Strew City, right? Yeah. I so saw the, a video called Hashtag No More Drama where you talked about how you were on a vacation okay, so I like with Charlie. Yes. I was just confused about that because I know the whole LSD thing happened where, like, he was getting – he got ridden out of the family. and. All right, so first fucking question right out the motherfucking gate. Excuse my language. Let me, uh, let me clean that up. I'm sorry. First question right out of the gate from this man. So I hear you had a YouTube channel that's gone now from what, bullying or whatever? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's just skip over, you know, and let's not talk about why you got it removed from bullying or whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, uh, Charlie? Charlie? There was a video called the Charlie Chill LSD incident. Hold on a second. Let's, let's. let's... So, has he, if Charlie, let's right. go to the first one. So, you have a channel called, you had a channel called Strucity, right? Strucity. Yeah. What's I that? I saw a video called Hashtag No More Drama, where you talked about how you were on a vacation with no more Charlie. drama. Yes. I was just confused with it because I know the whole LSD thing happened where like he was getting he got written out of the family. And yes. so has he turned his life around? He tried to, but it, it didn't work out. It didn't work out? And I, I, Okay, straight, all right, straight up yeah. Uh, so so since the LSD incident uh, your uncle Charlie, he tried to, he, he tried to, he tried to straighten his life out. Has he, he tried? And John, we hear what Johnny said. I tried to, I tried to straighten my life out, but it didn't work out. Oh man, what kind of crap is that, dude? Johnny, really, bud? And I noticed here earlier that Johnny unblocked me on Twitter. I didn't send him any message or anything, um, but he has unblocked me today. I looked. I looked at one point this morning and I was blocked still. I come home from work and I'm unblocked. I'd be lurking, dude. Don't, you know, yeah. Just because I don't be talking and shit don't mean I don't be lurking. Um, Classic Toast says it's comedy at this point. I mean, I mean, honestly, dude, like, look at me. I don't have to sit there and and say and try to fucking persuade you, give you a lollipop to uh, to, to, to say I'm, I've been good. Like, dude, literally look at me. How healthy do I look? I got to say, dude, I feel like I am in the best shape physically and mentally, you know, that I have been in my whole life. Thanks to giving up booze, drugs, alcohol, and, and working out, eating right. I gave, up, I, I gave up sugar for a long time. You guys notice, if you don't notice, man, if you hadn't clicked in in a while, man, I lost a bunch of weight. I used to walk around at 220 to 225 pounds. I'm now at 165. 165, 170-ish, but I've kind of given up on that, man. I fell into like a weird thing about trying to lose weight, man. I got down to 155, damn, gave myself a seizure, busted my fucking head open, I think from dieting too hard, you know? So I've since given up on the on the whole, uh, um, like, as being so stringent on it, you know? But I'm still keeping up my shit, you know what I mean? Living right. And, uh, uh, yeah, man, it's really hard to argue with like shit that you see in your face, you know, like before you every day, like y'all remember how I, how I acted when I would get wasted. Like there was no hiding it, not from Erica, not from, uh, 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 not from a drunk person, not from another sober person, definitely not from anybody in any sort of program. Simply uh, outdone. Much love. Thank you so much. Says, we see it, Charlie. You look good and doing good. Thank you so much. About to come up on a one-year anniversary. Me and Erica, our one-year anniversary this weekend. <laughs> Woo! We are going camping. The weather is going to be eh, good enough for us to take our camper out for the very first time this weekend. We're going to uh, take our kayak. We're going to... We thought about cooking out. We might go to Zaxby's. <laughs> uh, maybe Biscuitville. Uh, yeah, we're going to do some kayaking, take our dogs for a walk, and hang out in the camper, dude. Um, I've been curating myself a good little 
DVD, uh, 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 Blu-ray collection for my, uh, for while I'm camping and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got myself some office and some always sunny. What, 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 what? Got me some damn. Say my pro, just like just some comedies and stuff, you know, just like, yeah, you know, just like fun stuff to kind of have me occupied or whatever, you know, just whatever. Like, because in case we ever get out in like the boonies or whatever, we may not have any service. But anyways, you know, just productive stuff. You know, me and Erica, her mom, uh, her mom got a cake. Her mom, her mom saved, I think, the top of the cake. Is that how you're supposed to do it, right? You save the top of the wedding cake and then. On your one year anniversary, you eat the cake. You know, I guess it's like celebration, like, hell yeah, we made it. If we did it, if we made it through this one year, we can definitely do it, you know, for the rest, uh, you know, of our lives, you know, at least the rest of one of our lives. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're going to have a great weekend. We're going to even vlog a little bit. Jay Pre Fryer, thank you so much, sir, says, uh, was the LSD incident the reason Mike wanted to cut you out of the family and lie about you? I don't understand his motivation for all of those lies. Uh, what's there to say? Let's celebrate. The, okay. Um, uh, well, quite honestly, uh, it kind of it went down from there. Like, absolutely. Like, that was the catalyst for it all. You know, like, up until that point, I was, you know, staying in the camp or staying in the, the pool house of his. Um, I was doing well, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I wasn't very happy, you know what I mean? I, re I really wanted to be out and about, you know, and, and doing my own thing, living my life and, and, and enjoying my new YouTube channel, you know what I mean? And, and I got, for some reason, I got stuck in the pool house, you know, I really didn't have the car, a car or anything, you know, uh, I guess I wasn't ready yet, you know, and then before I can get my leg, legs under my feet, you know, uh, uh, those feet uh, led me to the liquor store. I got drunk. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so like I got fucked up. I started like letting loose, you know, some family secrets and shit. You know what I mean? That I didn't have any right bringing up. You know what I mean? It wasn't fair to dad. It wasn't fair to the family. You know what I mean? And, uh, uh, shit that should have been private, you know, talk about mm, therapy or some shit. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and the, the thus began Michael's uh like smear cover up campaign, if you will. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it, you, Michael, come on, like it. it how, how do I say this? Like, I'm trying to figure out the right way to to say this. Like, you know, the best way to discredit somebody, you know what I mean, is like to like, or to to discredit somebody's words is is to discredit their their names and their face. You know what I mean? And, uh, which is what Michael did. Like, no, like he, uh, you know, it's like, it's hard to say. It's like, oh man, like he had nothing to really combat with, you know what I mean? Whenever I would come out and talk truth and fact, you know what I mean? So like they would, you know, he would just create like the most, you know, sensational lies. Like, for instance, actually, I don't know if we can, how much of that we can get into. Like, everybody knows what Chrissy says. Charlie, check the comment above from Delano Gaming. Where is it at? Um, uh, I'm Johnny's girlfriend, Mike. Didn't pay him to do anything. Johnny did it on his own, and he has tried to get his check back, but they denied, so he's going to try again. Uh, yeah, well... I've actually got a bunch of con a bunch of messages in here from Johnny's girlfriend and Johnny, and we'll share those here in a little bit. I don't understand. Did did, Je did Jennifer finally help Johnny get his social security card? Jesus fucking Christ! Because as of September, Jennifer wasn't helping Johnny get jack fucking shit. She basically threw his ass to the wolves. Why did she throw y'all away? See, I tried my best to get away and live my life. And they were like, not nope, into the pool house. Johnny has mental disabilities. Can, as you can tell, guys, obviously cannot lead his life properly like, a, like a, 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 you know, your average adult needs all the help he can get. Where is he at? Is he in Chicago now? He used to be in Indiana. Now he's in Chicago. Let's get back to this. 
He's with somebody named Eric family. My vacation with Charlie. Yes. Out channel called Strew City. All right, so hold on. Yeah. I saw a video called hashtag no more drama where you talked about how you were on a vacation with Charlie. Now, as y'all will notice, remember this, like he's talking about the vacation that I went on with, uh, 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 Erica and our friend Rebecca. Did JC come? Was JC with us at the time? Uh, me and Erica purchased an Airbnb on Edisto Island. Uh, and we took, uh, JC, we took Johnny with us, took Nano with us and we all had a great time. We were all getting along, you know what I mean? Like, I even talked to Jennifer. I even talked with Jennifer, and, and she was, uh, you know, crying and hugging Erica and stuff like that, you know? And, and it felt like maybe there might be some sort of change coming, perhaps, you know? And then it all went to shit after Jennifer pretty much tried to uh, uh, guilt trip JC into moving back in with her so that he could watch the boys while she went out and slept with married men. How many different men have, has Jennifer been with? And I'm not trying to, I'm, this ain't no kind of slut shaming or anything. I'm saying that it can't be good for the children, or even Jennifer really, to have that fucking carousel of emotional, you know, relationships, that ro emotional roller coaster of relationships. Clips TV, yeah. How can he sit there and he say that he tried that? Johnny tried, Johnny sitting there saying that I haven't, that I tried to change, but it didn't work out. And here I am in my own house. You know, I've got my own job now that I've had for what, over three years now, the same job that, uh, uh, that they tried to get me fired from whenever I brought JC to the house the first time to try to help him change his life. And it didn't work out. Why? Because freaking Michael coheres the poor boy into them, giving him up, giving up my, uh, work location. To which fucking Isaac and all his trolls went and tried to get me fired from. Crazy. And then I kicked JC out over that shit. You know, and I felt so bad about it afterwards, man. That I even let JC move back in. Remember? What? Just a, not even a year ago. We sent JC off to damn job court. He showed up to the house without an ID, without his social security card, without his birth certificate. He didn't have darling anything but the damn clothes on his back. Running away from uh, uh, Somerville yet again, from the bullshit, from the drug addicts, from the fuck gang. The fuck gang that supposedly choked Johnny out. I wonder how come this guy didn't ask Johnny why about, about getting choked out by Jennifer's boyfriend. One of Jennifer's boyfriend. Maybe it is bad that Jennifer... Uh, 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 has that damn cast and crew of fucking weird, strange men coming in and out of her life, putting their fucking hands on her kids. And then Johnny shares it on Twitter. He blows the whistle. Does anybody have that, that video? Is my shit plugged in? Yeah. Does anybody have that, that, that screenshot or whatever? Cause Johnny was made, they made Johnny d delete it and then accused one of his own friends of being the one that choked him was Johnny. I mean, they, they twisted it all up. They, 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 uh, Nana got upset. The angry grandma got upset, called DSS. Y'all remember this shit? Do I really got to bring it out? Johnny, Johnny, did you really want this to come out, buddy? Did you really want it to end up like this? After that trip to Edisto Island, this guy's going to be asking Johnny about, uh, why were the videos deleted? Because you want to know why the videos were deleted? Because Michael, once again, had Johnny tried to accuse me of giving him pills. And remember how Johnny put it? What did he say? Uh, yeah, they were blue, yellow, uh, uh, green, yellow pill. And then he snorted, he smoked it, he sniffed it, he, he ate it. And then everybody that watched that shit was like, yo, Michael. This shit don't make you look good, bro. Yo, Michael, this shit's fucked up. I can't believe you made these little kids fucking lie like that again. Blah, 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 blah. And this was back when, uh, before they got rid of the, the like and dislike uh, uh, counter. And, bro, that video had, like, five times as many dislikes as likes. It had, like, five times as many critic criticizers and naysayers and people that were like, yo, shit. I can't believe Michael was so brazen to go back for this shit. 
How many times now does that make that they damn uh, accused me of giving them drugs and alcohol? Remember whenever, damn, they had Jacob say so in front of Grandpa. And what did Grandpa say? Grandpa said, the cops will be called. They will be notified and you will go to jail. And guess what happened? I didn't go to jail. Huh? What happened with the investigation? After Johnny, when Michael told everybody, oh, Edisto Island police, they are contacted, they are involved. Charlie, this doesn't look good for you. What happened? Even Nana came out and said, oh, Charlie didn't give them drugs. What are they talking about? And then Michael would come back and say, okay, Nana says that they didn't, that Charlie didn't give Johnny drugs and alcohol. Fine. I'll, I'll accept that. But he didn't, he didn't even try, stop to try to find out before he made that obviously staged freaking video. Michael had deleted those videos. He deleted the videos of the kids uh, uh, accusing me of giving them drugs. He's deleted the videos of damn Jennifer and Kimberly ac accusing me of molesting them. And he has done so because he knows that I will sue his ass. The instance that he puts those videos back up online, I am going to sue the dog shit out of him. Shit's done fucking changed, bro. Like they say, you can't you, you can't get away with your stupid shit like you did back in 2017. And P and judges are like, what's a YouTube? A video? Are you huh? A what? Nah, man. People know all about catfishing and 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 and, and spreading misinformation through YouTube video, online social media. And no, I can't do nothing about videos that are uploaded to other people's channels and shit. Even if it is Michael and them obviously lying out of their fucking teeth on video. You can't do shit about it. I learned this when I was in the court over Michael and Bridget getting the uh, restraining orders on Tuna. And Tuna didn't know it, but she had won that shit. She didn't even know it. She's like, bro, I'll sign. Let's see here. Yes. I was just confused about that. <clears throat> because I know the whole LSD thing happened where, like, he was getting, he got written out of the family. And yes. so has he turned his life around? He tried to, but it, it didn't work out. I tried to, it but it didn't out. work out. I also saw on his own channel, he's with somebody named Erica. Yeah, I, I I met her at my grandfather's funeral. Okay. So is he is he like in contact with the family to this day? Uh, he is, but he'd rather not talk to us. Okay. Okay. Wonder why? I'm not necessarily really in contact with any of them really anymore. Honestly. After JC freaking ran away from fucking job court that last time, he pissed me off so much, man. I did kind of talk to him a little bit, you know, after Christmas right there. And uh, he just kept damn hitting me up for money. He, he'd hit me up on Messenger talking about, uh, you know, putting in job applications here or there. Uh, that he's hungry. You know, he's at McDonald's and that he's hungry. You know what I mean? And so I'd send them some, you know, a few bucks here and there. And so finally I was like, man, no, I'm done with this shit. You know, I'm, I'm done enabling you, bro. Dude, you ran away from the best chance that you ever had. You know, and now I don't even know where you, where the boy is. Is he still down in Charleston? I don't know. <clears throat> it's rough. They're all, they're all floating around. Jacob's the only one that seems to be doing all right right now. He ran straight to the military and I've seen like some pictures and videos of him doing some push-ups and stuff. And I got to be honest with you, man, like the kid looks really proud of himself, man. I got to tell you, like there's a light in his eyes. There's a light in the boy's eyes, man, that you like, I ain't never saw. I mean, like the last time I saw that kid, man, was like Edisto. We went down there to pick up Johnny, dude. And, uh, <laughs> And he was just like him and some friends rolled up on their scooters like a little fucking badass gang, you know what I mean? And um, and he just looked dead inside, bro, man. You know, he's just. I would find out later that he was freaking fried out of his mind. You know, they were all out there getting fucked up. Y'all remember that video where Johnny, the video of Johnny overdosing on PCP? Does somebody still have that? Can I show this? Somebody, where's that at? Somebody be hitting me up on Twitter. 
with them with the uh, uh, screenshots of Johnny getting choked in that fucking video, that overdose video. <clears throat> Whole bunch of shit. And they're still going through the same shit. But yeah, John Jacob seems to have a really good chance. He's got he he stepped into a program, an institution, you know what I mean? Um, funded by the government, you know, has government backing. The dollars are there, uh, uh, the accommodations. He's got somewhere to sleep, somewhere to live, you know, uh, schooling, uh, uh, opportunity for advancement. And uh, uh, yeah, man, I really, I'm really wishing the best for him, despite what he might say about me. You know, I, the last time we talked, it was on, he was on some bullshit. So I don't know what to make of it. So we'll see. The next question. Is it true that you primarily grew up in Anger Grandpa's house? Okay, so here's another. A couple questions here that necessarily and weren't about me. Um, oh, I, okay, right. so check this out. The next question. Is it true that you primarily grew up in Anger Grandpa's house? Yes. And your mother didn't have custody of you? Uh, yeah, she didn't have custody of us uh, uh, for us for a while. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you allowed to talk about why that she didn't have custody? Uh, I, I honestly don't know why, but uh, I did hear, hear people say that it was about drugs. We all know why. All right. We all know why. Grandpa did a video saying so his fucking self that Jennifer would not choose the boys, would not choose the boys over Dick. That it didn't make a fuck what was going on in their lives, what they needed of, of the world, of a mother, of a father. That all she could think about is what bed she was going to lay in next. To the point where she was off getting her shit while dad was stuck with the children. Not to mention that she wasn't there mentally. Like there was a whole bunch of... A stuff there, you know, like that. I don't necessarily want to get into, you know what I mean? Where like there was a time where dad had to assume, you know, custody of the children. You know, if it wasn't dad, then who? The state? And he wasn't going to let that happen. You know, so. Yeah, like I don't want to get too, too far in the weeds with that, but it's just like any other case. How many different, how many times do you see this happen? How many different American families do you see where, you know, the, the, the parents fall to shit, you know, over drugs, over, over their own shit. And the children are left to the wayside with the grandparents. Grandparents got to assume the role as mother, father, grandma, grandpa, legal custodian, provider at the age of 65, 70. It happens all the time, and it happened in this instance, right here before you all. I mean, why should our family be any damn different? That's why we all connected so great. I love it whenever Michael tries to sit there. I'll sit there and laugh at Michael for, you know, losing, you know, views, you know, for being a cuckold, you know, for damn uh, 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 trying to constantly clickbait his weight. You know what I mean? His cringy shit where he constantly tries to say my brother keeps trying to put his my brother into a video or whatever, you know, like trying to use me for video for views still without using me, you know, like a weird nebulous are they are they not kind of bullshit until I got to say, no, guys, we ain't. All right. You know, black, you know, and oh, man, I'm just fucking. It just man. I kind of forgot where the hell I was at. You know what I mean? Uh, Dennis Fr uh, Daniel French says, Michael don't care for them boys. He just throws money instead of trying to teach them life skills. You're right. We're going to get into that. Hold on. So since you grew up in this house, would you say that Angry Grandpa was a very influential father figure in your life? Oh, yeah. He was like the nicest person ever. So jo he, he was like Johnny father. would go on to say right here about how, 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 how Grandpa was not the same. Uh, well... Like right, yeah. that he was not angry yeah, and yeah. mean behind the camera, yeah, like yeah, like yeah. off camera. Like dad was always fucking angry and irritated. And... Uh, so, so I made a video but he was always great to the boys. Like I said, man, there was a softness, was a sweetness. This is where Johnny's talking about getting his channel canceled for bullying or something, you know, and that sucks. I hate that for him, man, because, you know, 
So you know, he can't have a YouTube channel anymore. That sucks. This one. It's about the Christmas 2007 video. Do you know about that? All right, here's a, here's a question that the guy asked him pretty much about, uh, like, exactly you know, if it was real, like, Christmas, you know. It's the first Angry Grandpa video ever. I don't want to really talk oh, about. Chris Price? I remember him. Chris Price. How about that, though? Y'all remember the time that I told y'all that Jennifer was. It was at a Chris Price's house. It was back in. I don't know how he pulled this name out. Chris Price? I remember him. Chris Price was a crazy son of a bitch. That was another one of Jennifer's pieces of ass that she damn chose over the boys and how the boys would go to his house every week. Does he say so here? You remember him? Yeah. He's a terrible guy, right? Yeah, terrible dude, honestly. <laughs> fucking says so right here how fucking terrible the guy was he was doped out on spice and his eyes were bugged the fuck out man he was like i don't know if he was honorably or dishonorably discharged from the military on some crazy shit you know and i hate to say that because he lives up here in somewhere in north carolina somewhere and i ain't trying to talk no shit i'm just saying the guy was nuts man and he was and, and, and my nephews would go around his ass every weekend you know and we'd be afraid of uh, of him for them he owned guns Y'all don't know if y'all remember Michael telling the story about Jennifer's boyfriend holding the gun at the window and Michael trying to get the goddamn door open. And I'm like, yo, bro, this dude will fucking shoot you, Michael. The guy slapped Jennifer in the face in front of Gerald's tires one day while it was raining and the mechanics saw it and they drug his ass out and beat the fuck out of him right in front of Jennifer. And Jennifer, ah, no, 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 he doesn't need it. The fuck? She was always fucking introducing them children into some some crazy ass abusive relationship, and she's still fucking doing it. Didn't I tell you guys that we did a we did a live stream where I had Jennifer's neighbors contact me because the boys were running the fucking streets wild because while Jennifer was gone, said Jennifer hadn't been home in over a month. The fucking grass was up to the damn to the mailbox. I've got pictures and correspondence with this person. I could still pull it up. Jennifer had been gone for a damn month. Or more. While Jacob was laid up in there with his girlfriend. Johnny was in there with his girlfriend. They were all hanged out with the fuck gang. Doing PCP and fucking math and shit. Fucking antagonizing and terrorizing the neighborhood. With the old Emilio. Yeah. Mr. Emilio running around in his box shorts. Trying to bang Jennifer. And actually, I think JC said that Jennifer might have banged the guy. You know, like, shit. And this guy apparently, you know, like, was talking about she was hooked up with this guy named Tim, who I know is married. Who Jennifer was swinging with back when uh, the uh, JC and Johnny's father, Josh. That's the reason Josh... That's the reason those boys don't have a father anymore. Because Jennifer and Josh was swinging with damn paramedics and EMS and firefighters. And damn, Jay, uh, Josh fell in love with another piece of ass and they moved off to Pennsylvania. Mary? I think he's still married to her. And then Jennifer's messing around still with the other uh, firefighter, Tim. Haha, <laughs> what's that? Jiho fanatics, G.I. Joe fanatics. Sorry, says that's why I like Charlie, dude. Speaks things Mike would never. Mike would never. You know, Mike, he controls that narrative. You can believe that Charlie's a crackhead all you want, but don't fucking believe that Michael's slipping none. In, in one of the Christmas videos, I think it was you that got a truck thrown at your head. Do you remember any of that? <laughs> no. That's a Grandpa I, classic. No. Come yeah. on, man. Michael said that was a fake video, was it? It, it probably was fake. Uh, Dad probably just kind of lobbed it. I didn't know if it was real or fake. Johnny's way. Okay. Dad probably kind of lobbed it Johnny's way. You know he's not going to. Ain't, ain't going to do no real shit on camera. Stop it. Ain't no real damn a child abuse gonna take place on camera. All that shit happens off camera. <laughs> All that shit happens off camera. No, but I really, honestly, and truly, dude, I gotta tell you, like, dad might have disciplined the boys, you know what I mean? Um, but he loved them, dude. And I'm telling you, there was a sweetness and a softening 
that 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 took place as dad aged and as those boys grew on him. You know, that's why dad said that's why dad took them boys and Jennifer, go fuck yourself. Go screw whoever you want. Do whatever dope you want to do. Be, be, be whatever hood rat in whatever circle you want to be. I got these boys. They mine. I'll take care of these kids. They're mine. Go fuck off. You know, and dad loved them boys and he did treat them as best he could. You know. <clears throat> but, you know, here we are now. No, Jennifer, Jennifer was just misunderstood, right? Oh, Jennifer, Jennifer was just trying to figure it out, huh? How does a fucking mother ever not figure it out? Jennifer's goddamn 40 years old. A mama should always have her goddamn babies first. Isn't that really kind of like uh, 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 the natural order of things? Mama takes care of fucking baby first. Mama, that goddamn mama damn uh, uh, gazelle will circle a freaking pack of lions holding her goddamn baby to her damn side. Don't let that lion come get her before she gets that damn baby. Jennifer ain't got that in her. Jennifer be like, oh, gone. High tailing it. Take the baby. Going to get some dick. While the umbilical cord still hanging out of me. She's failed these boys. Oh, but I'm. Oh, but anyway, yeah, like, so, like, <sighs> I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it. It don't have to be said. All right. So, I was from growing up, his, his concept felt so real until I got older. I hate this part. Yeah, I under you, you understood, like, that some parts were fake? Yeah. Okay. He gets on right here and says that he gets scared yeah, and shit. Sorry. I hate it. Back to the writing him out of your, oh. our lives video. You you said that Charlie pushed you into a door. Yeah, so uh, basically what happened was me and my brother were running inside, like screaming for our lives as a joke. And then um, Charlie thought I hurt one of my brothers. So he comes and just rams me into the door and breaks my nose. Damn. Yeah, and then when when uh, Michael was sitting in the living room, Michael gets up and just goes ham on Charlie, dude. It was great. They fought. Yeah, they actually fought. Really? What happened to Charlie after that? Uh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so y'all remember me telling you this story, right? Like, I still feel bad about it because, you know, I did inadvertently hurt Johnny, right? But it didn't go down the way that Johnny's trying to 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 make it sound like they came in uh, uh yeah, trying to prank us or some crazy shit like that i told y'all exactly what happened and you can go back and you can watch the videos you can find you can see when the mark first appeared on jacob's neck okay whenever we were inside in fact it was true you know it was me dad and michael and and we're in the house and i don't know if we're working on a video we're talking about something or whatever um and then I do hear fucking screaming, like terrified screaming as the back door flings open and then Jacob comes running in and then Johnny right behind him, you know, and Jacob's like, ah, ah, like Jacob's like fucking in a panic, you know, and Johnny's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you know, and Johnny actually wouldn't say, oh my God, like he was blank, dude. Yeah, this is, <laughs> all right, hold on. I ain't, like I said, I ain't trying to talk no shit about my, boy, my my nephew, Johnny. I love him. But so they come busting in the back door. Jacob's in a panic and Johnny's running behind him. And Jacob's got this fucking cut on his neck, dude. And it's like, where is it? Have y'all seen y'all? How many of y'all remember the cut? Right here on Jacob on Jacob's neck. And you can kind of go into the videos and you can pinpoint about when it comes up. Erica even sent me a, a video at one point, you know, I forget what side it's on or whatever, but Jacob's at the island at the kitchen. You can see it clear as day. So anyways, they were out back playing around in, uh, in this fucking burn pile or some shit. And Johnny had a freaking damn. Ah. Uh, said that Jacob's actually riding with dad doing yard sales and that in the car and you can see the cut on Jacob's neck. So if y'all want to look into that, 
uh, um, I'm not lying, dude. So apparently Johnny was out, they were out back and Johnny was swinging, fucking with Jacob. You know what I mean? And Jacob's a little freaking Bart Simpson butthole too. You know, he, he's fucking with Johnny. He's like, you ain't going to do it. Uh, uh, you know, but Johnny's got this freaking damn uh, uh, metal a uh, broomstick that has been broken off and sharp and he's freaking doing this number here to Jacob like trying to fucking hit Jacob with this damn big long ass metal fucking half broken metal freaking rod and it does he find I mean you, you fuck around you find out you know what I'm saying what up my dude bows in the house much love thank you for joining just explaining uh uh this time that uh I'm unfortunately Jack Johnny up uh, and broke his nose. Apparently, hey, there was no nose broken. I did bloody it though, man. Like, so Jacob comes in and I'm, I'm in a panic. Like, what the fuck? Holy shit, you know? And he's like, oh, you know, and he comes up to me and he's, oh, he, he wants reassurance that it's not as bad as he fucking thinks it is. Jacob thinks that he's fucking cut deep. You know what I mean? We're all like, you know, John, let me look, you know, and you're, you're good, you're good, you know. And, dude, I swear to God, man, I look over at Johnny, man, and, damn, he's sitting there right by the back door, and he's kind of got like, I mean, it, it, it wasn't, the smile wasn't even as big as I'm trying to make it, dude, like, there, but it was, the smile was fucking there and like a fascination sort of in his eyes, you know what I mean? That just freaking spooked me, bro, and I was like, I was like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I fucking... I'm sorry, dude. I fucking, I just kind of yoked him up, kind of towards, the, up against the fucking door. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? And he kind of tried to, you know, yank away from me or whatever. Damn, I guess he fucking rubbed his damn nose up against my freaking arms or whatever, you know? And damn, it started bleeding, you know? And then, like, so I guess Johnny always had this thing about the color red. You know what I mean? Like, red always seemed to spook him out or whatever. And, and so, boom, there's the red. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I don't know what Johnny's about to do because I was always told that when he sees red, he flips out or whatever. But he didn't flip out. He was just almost felt like he was brought into the moment or whatever, you know. And, and I was instantly freaked out because now I just hurt Johnny. You know, now I just put my hands on Johnny and I hurt him. And and I don't know what he's going to do. He's got, he's got therapists, you know what I mean? He goes and talks to his psychiatrist, you know, constantly. And I don't want... You know, I'm afraid he's going to go to them and tell them that I, you know, abused him, you know, but I, he, the whole situation came out about him with Jacob and cutting him and stuff. And so it was, I'm not even sure he even told who, what was told, what, what, what was hidden as a family. Uh, yeah, but there, there was no fight with me and Michael. Matter of fact, Michael and dad were shocked. They were like, Charlie, you know what? I ah, like, you know, like I, I'm, I, I, I don't even know exactly how it went down. Like, but we were all nervous and scared. It just all turned, I mean, it all just happened so damn fast. You know what I mean? With Jacob coming in, bleeding from the neck, you know what I mean? And then Johnny bleeding, you know, and, you know, like the potential of, of, of you know, things ending badly for me, I guess. You know what I mean? We don't know what Johnny's going to do, uh, you know. I mean, it all turned out okay. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, uh, everybody was kind of to fault. Well, I don't know. And I don't know how to, were we all kind of to blame for that? You know what I mean? I do apologize for my overreaction. I shouldn't have put my hands on the kid. You know what I mean? Um, but it was just a very intense moment. You know what I mean? And, and you know, like there, Johnny is, Johnny is, had been, had been, uh, taken away had been you know in in a, in a program in, in a controlled environment with doctors and nurses before he got brought back to John, to dad to grandpa's house he was released from the hospital to grandpa's house you know what i mean and, and, and uh, under the assumption that he was okay that he wasn't going to, he was not a harm to himself or to anybody else you know what I mean? And then here he is fucking cutting Jake, Jacob on the neck and shit. And he was always abusing Jacob and attacking Jimmy, you know, and doing little vindictive, you know, arm twist shit. You know what I'm saying? When, and Johnny was good about it, too. He try, he knew how to trick and try to hide it and shit. And I'm not talking shit about the boy, but I'm saying that he had probably, he had, you know, documented problems. He tells you himself right here that he wasn't living home at the time. You know what I mean? Like, we all know that Johnny was 
you know, has been institutionalized and stuff and, and needs help, man, still to this day. And instead of helping him, fucking Michael is damn throwing him a couple of 20, $30 here and there to go buy some cigarettes, to buy some Arby's for, for him and for, for Johnny and his girlfriend. Like he's not, there's no fucking real help being doled out to these boys. They're just fucking being damn given just enough to fucking have nothing and be happy. They're like on welfare. No, 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 no diss on welfare, but I mean, that's what it is. You know, if you live on the bare minimum, nothing, you know, by, by big daddy, you know, you ain't going to get nowhere. You know what I mean? And these boys have gotten nowhere. Jacob and Johnny is what? How old? 20, 21? Fuck. J JC is how old? 24. So fuck. Fuck, man. Damn. Um. I forgot because I, I had to go to my mother's. Okay. The what up, Roy? I broke a nose. Jesus Christ. I, I know it ended it up with him leaving the house. Okay. Wow. Uh, I, did, I did not know that. I'm sorry that happened to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's 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 100% fine. And, and if you go and you watch that video and you see when Jacob got his neck cut... Go ahead and do a timeline. See how long after that video did I get kicked out or did I get kicked out? I left. If you all remember, I left. I moved out with damn Twisted Chris. Tried to anyway. And then ended up finding my way back over to Michael's place because I, I wasn't ready yet, unfortunately. But do the timeline. Johnny says that, that, that me and Michael got into a fist fight over that shit. How on God's green earth am I going to sit there and break that boy's nose and not go to jail first off? Let me tell you what, man. You come up in my house. I mean, you fuck up and you damn punch my fucking nephew in the face. Michael, you punch my nephew in the face and, and break his nose. And he goes to the First off, the hospital is going to call the police, wouldn't they? Wouldn't the hospital? You would think when a minor comes in with a broken nose and say, my uncle hit me. Oh, did they, did they cover that up? Don't you know that we would have talked about that a long time ago? Because don't you know how to whip Michael's ass? I would have described that fucking fight in every detail and all of its glory. Debbie Rutledge says, of course they would call CPS. And a full investigation would get long. Matter of fact, dad said that a CPS was getting called whenever I supposedly gave Jacob drugs and alcohol that one time. And grandpa was like, oh, and the police, they will be in, uh, 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 call, contacted and you will go to jail. And what happened? Nothing. Like I said, all this bullshit, all these lies and accusations with zero base facts. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that I challenge to this day, that more and more people see the truth to as the days go on, man, and I appreciate it. So, next question, is it true that your Uncle Charlie gave you and your brothers drugs? Um, yes, actually, um. Right after that, about like a week later, Jacob confessed that he was drinking with Uncle Charlie. And then like a month later, I confessed because I was too scared to actually say something. So just randomly one day, he he just started yeah. giving you alcohol. Just randomly one day. Come on over here, Scout. Alcohol and weed. And weed. Yeah. yeah. It was like 2016. He, he must have been like high on something because I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, he Anyone would he just give. Yeah, I'll go All right. So there was this rant video. Like I said, back in 2016, like I said, that was whenever Kimberly came down for uh, her birthday. If y'all will remember, uh, I had been kind of like on the outs with dad that whole week, man. Like I said, dad's got this weird, funny thing, you know, where one of the kids always got to be on the outs. You know what I mean? And it just so happened that I was the kid on the outs the week that Kimberly came, man. You know, I was kind of, you know, let, you know, kind of felt like 
pressure put on me to kind of like stay back in the shadows behind. I felt bad you know, about it. I even did a video. Remember if y'all, I don't know if y'all remember me doing a video, how to avoid angry grandpa. I did a clip in that video where I'm sitting in the bedroom while they're all singing happy birthday to Jacob. You know, and just, you know, and stayed away, dude. And unfortunately that, you know, that drew me back to the bottle. You know, I, I had been sober for like a couple of years or whatever, you know. And uh, I find I, I, I recently had recently started making money, had my own debit card and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And I was able to go out and get alcohol and shit. And I did. You know what I mean? And I got fucked up. I got wasted. I couldn't hide it. They all knew it, you know, and uh, I passed out, you know, with my with my pot and my alcohol just laid out on the bedside table. And they all, like I said, they all knew about what was, you know, what was going on, you know, that I was drinking and I snuck it into the house and they're all outside talking about it around the campfire. Like I said, some, one of us has got to be ostracized. And of course, you know, me drinking, it's obviously going to be me, you know, and it's going to be the topic of the campfire, you know? And so while they're all talking, laughing about it, Jacob's like, Ooh, Charlie's got drugs and alcohol in there, you know, and he sneaks in and he gets a hold of it. You know, that was my bad. You know, like I take full responsibility for, you know, you know, leaving, you know, for being irresponsible with alcohol, you know, and pot, you know what I mean? And, you know, leaving it like pretty much like a loaded gun, you know what I mean? And Jacob, you know, Jacob ain't no fucking angel. Come on, guys. Jacob, you know, being raised by grandpa, being raised by tuna. You know, this little kid was super advanced, man, stealing grandpa's mail and taking the money. Him and Albert. Come on. He he was probably out there at the, at the, at the playground whenever Albert stabbed that kid. You know what I mean? He probably gave Albert the shank. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Jacob, you know, realer to me. Stop it. You know, and the next thing you know, he's a baby and I gave him drugs and alcohol and shit. You know, while, you know, none of that fucking happened. You know, I would not give these fucking kids drugs and alcohol out of my fucking mind. You know what I mean? Like, like he says, you have to be high on something, you know, which I wasn't. I was doing my best to try and stay sober. That's why I moved to dad's house in the first place. If y'all remember, I damn was going to go to rehab. I was looking up places up in Greenville, South Carolina and stuff. I was going to go to rehab and, and and finally get my shit together and I'm and I'm doing I'm doing the farewell tour. You know, my aunt Dabby and them, mom, Uncle Bobby, and word gets back to dad. I think Charlie's for real this time, you know what I mean? And they interjected and brought me back, you know, to dad's house and let me use dad's house as a safe haven for uh uh sobriety, you know, which turned out to not work so well. You know what I mean? With all the prescription drugs floating around in that house, you know what I mean? Uh, combined with me sneaking off and getting alcohol, you know, whenever I was depressed and shit, which wasn't often with the alcohol, honestly. It only I only got drunk at dad's house like like three or four times, you know what I mean? Um, out of like two years being there, you know? So, uh, yeah. You know, uh, there was no drugs, alcohol given, wouldn't have been, you know, and whenever dad said that, you know, the, the cops were called and DSS was going to be called, you know, it did, it never happened. They never got contacted because it was all a false made up narrative. You know what I mean? That, uh, um, uh, they couldn't, you know, go to the police with, you know, so, uh, that's why I never went to jail for any of the damn accusations or crimes Make no mistakes about it. These shits are crimes. They are accusing me of crimes. You know what I mean? That uh, I ha uh, am innocent of. You know what I mean? So, the, the, you, know, I, you know, they I am innocent until proven guilty. Prove that shit, bitch. Plus, you all see. Come on, man. Stop it. Charlie. Charlie. Char was talking about how that your grandfather and Lauren were dope heads. Wait, is that true? I uh, I don't know, but I know what you mean because in one of his videos, uh, he he does share how he wants uh weed to be legalized. Yeah, yeah but in the video, oh. 100% sure. oh my God, Charlie wants weed to be legalized. Yeah, let's just go ahead and finish up these last four fucking states, please, that haven't uh, fully legalized it. Oh my God, 
Oh my God! Come on, <gasps> marijuana! Charlie's smoking marijuana! Oh my God! The gas! Stop it! But I would believe that Charlie accused Grandpa of being a dopehead and doing drugs and, and hard pills because Charlie wants marijuana to be legalized. Bayou says the South taken forever to legalize. Hey, man, you know what, dude? Uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, full legalization, 420. Next month will be the day one of them opening up, selling their... They're good stuff. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, call, a, call a creeper? Goose creep and call a bear or some shit? I don't know. But yeah, slowly working its way, man, on out the door, man. Remember the remember the day when you had to damn uh, go out and find it, man? It was all a whole adventure for you and your friends, and you had to be quiet about it and shit, man. Those were the good days. I don't even know if I would be, you know... You know, smoking pot as a kid today, you know, if it being legal like this, man, it was a whole thrill about it being illegal and shit. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. Anyway, so he's trying to say that I was talking shit about grandpa being a dope head, a pill head. Hold on. Let's 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 go back. Come back. Uh, I don't know, but in the video where Charlie was talking about how that your grandfather and Lauren were dope heads. Is that true? I uh, I don't know, but I know what you mean because in one of his videos, uh, he he does share how he wants uh weed to be legalized. Yeah, yeah but in the so video, I'm not one hundred percent sure. Okay, I think I think Karen Crisp right here might be uh JC's girlfriend. I think they said earlier. I think she might be trying to explain Johnny through through my chat right here, in which she says uh that Johnny was talking about AGP, not me. Okay, so that, that kind of sounds that kind of sounds about right. I'm not gonna sit here and try to force any narrative unless it doesn't sound right. Then I'm gonna question it. But that sounds yeah. I guess uh, I can see why Johnny. I can see Johnny meaning Grandpa on that. So he he's saying that he's trying to say that he doesn't know why I would say Grandpa was a doper, but maybe because Johnny heard Grandpa say in a video that Grandpa uh uh. uh which is that they would just fully legalize weed. Okay, I get what he's saying. Okay. So he's saying that he could see why I would call Grandpa a dopehead, all because Grandpa did a video about legalizing weed. It doesn't make sense, buddy. If you'll remember, Johnny, Michael is the one that went on No Jumper and told the whole world that Grandpa spent $50,000 a month on drugs. Which is why Grandpa Michael says that that's why Grandpa died broke without a penny to his name, without zero with zero inheritance to leave to you, Johnny, to you, Jacob, to you, JC. Left y'all with nothing. Dad died broke. Grand Michael, when Dad died, Michael didn't get any richer because it was all already his anyway. The car was in his name. The house was in his name. All the money was going into Michael's account. Michael was coming out. Uh, coming over once a month, fucking breaking off dad a little, stipping a little, a little, here you go, a little, a little keep you happy, shut up. Dad wasn't, there was no full fucking split. Dad didn't die with uh, 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 a bank account to leave to the children, to his family. Nah, that all was already in Michael's account. Stop it. Michael was the one that went on No Jumper and told everybody that dad was spending $50,000 a month on drugs. In the video, he said they did like downers and uppers. So like. And yes, I Lauren did do like, uppers. Like, got, I mean, downers daily. No, I doubt it. Lauren, de Lauren still probably walks around like the fucking walking dead. Like a lost John Lennon. You know what I mean? In search of her next fix. She was always fucking damn sickly, tired, fucking rail thin, fucking vapid, sleeping by day, playing GTA by night. Why do you think they brought me there to take care of the boys? Because Lauren was so fucking doped out her mind. Come on, man. Really? They're saying I'm the one freaking doped out, but compare me and Lauren. 
Come on. Health is health. Health is visible. Come on, guys. Stop it. And, you know, and unfortunately, Dad did have somewhat of a, you know, pill addiction. It happens, guys. You know, we are in an age now where everybody's suffering from the fucking an opioid addiction. All the old people anyway, huh? Damn, uh, big, big pharmaceuticals came through and fucking got everybody hooked, didn't they? And then all of a sudden just cut everyone off cold turkey, supposedly. Good, honest fucking folks. Getting old, dealing with fucking body pains. Apparently they weren't, they weren't to address the pain or whatever. They were just to mask it with pills or some shit like that. 63F85 says if Angry Grandpa would have spent 50K a month on pills, he would have passed a lot sooner. Way sooner than he did. Because let's see, Michael Michael claimed that he moved Grandpa away from Tina back in, what, 2015? Because Tina was uh, uh, a, a negative influence, because Tina was my, uh, Dad's dope dealer. Tina and Dad would go on to have a, a very public spat after dad moved out in which Tina would get mad because she would get cut off by Michael. It's all very well documented, but also deleted. The videos are deleted. You'll hear in a minute that Michael, that Johnny tries to say that the Tina videos are deleted. The Tina videos weren't deleted. The Charlie videos were hidden. You know, so I'm not the one accusing dad of anything. If anything, dad needed his medications a certain amount anyway to be able to to make it you know what I mean because he was in physical pain the man was suffering from illness for a lot longer than he let us on to believe man I told you I was the first person he told about the damn the skin cancer and he didn't tell me that for I feel like a week at least because I was I just I just he was just getting crabbier and crabbier day by day and I could just tell that he was just like just something was just nagging him and he just wouldn't fucking come out with it. I was like, bro, what the hell's going on, Dad? Fuck. You know? And he told me. So I don't blame Dad for, you know, trying to medicate himself some, you know, and huh. But here is Michael after dad dies, uh, uh, accuses dad of spending all his money on, do on dope, 50000 a month on dope to justify the fact that Michael stole all of dad's money. Son of a bitch, man. Fucking sad. Okay, that's what I thought. So I think he was just talking out of his ass there. Yeah, most likely. Love you back, Mo Cooper. That's the reason he was called there, because apparently Grandpa and Lauren were doing drugs. That's not true, right? No. So, and Grandpa just I never said that shit. The kindness of his heart, right? Because he was like in a rough patch in his life. Yeah, so right after he got out of jail, my grandfather stepped up and took him in. Right. Nobody else wanted w Did Charlie have any significant role in taking care of you and your brothers? Uh, yes, actually. He was, um... Whenever my grandfather was at home or anything, he would be in charge. Right. It was honestly pretty hectic, honestly. It, it was a bad experience having him in charge. Yeah, bad experience, yeah. C can you elaborate on that? Um, there was one time where he left the stove on, where where, and then he went to go on the, the couch to get drunk and high, and then passed out. Jesus Christ. The yeah, he almost caught the house on fire. And then my mom walked through the door right when the stove caught on fire. Wow. Yeah. So was this like 2016? I, I think it was mid 2017 because I was, I was sick at the time and mid 2017, buddy. I was already out the house by then, wasn't I? Didn't Grandpa die December of 2017? You're trying to say this happened at Grandpa's house in 2017? You got it all mixed up, pal. See, like. Johnny is just Johnny is just going with it. Feel you can you listen to this and you really you can really feel this guy just pretty much kind of leading Johnny in to to because they 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 say at the beginning that uh, all these questions were pre-screened, uh, talked about, okayed uh, 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 prior to the video to the interview beginning. 
You know, so you and you can really feel this guy really leading Johnny into these questions, into this shit, man, which makes you wonder, like, honestly, the uh, 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 the motive behind this guy's interview. You know what I mean? You would think that, uh, you know, he would get a lot more views off of going after Michael right now. Like, I'm not the YouTuber. You know what I mean? So you would think that if it was a a, a, a view grab that somebody would go after Michael. There's been quite a few. Uh, YouTube videos here, uh, exposed videos on Michael over the last few years that have millions of views. Uh, Sonny V, a couple others, man, they're out there, you know. Um, but for some reason, this no level guy uh, wants to come out and, and lead this uh, uh, hatchet job against Charlie Chill. For what reason? Like I say, I only thing I can think of is that I've really ramped up my shit talk on Michael lately because there's no way there's no way that I'm not gonna uh, that I'm gonna let this opportunity pass. Michael is dying in real time, and uh, and and this is my opportunity and my chance to say ha ah, to laugh and enjoy and to dance while the fire is hot. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna do it. You know, like all the shit that he's put me through, all the lies, all the distress, all the trauma, all the loss. I'm not letting any of them live this shit down. This shit's going to be on your soul forever. Michael, Jennifer, Kimberly. Where's Kimberly at? Where's Kimberly been at all the time? She's gone. She said something almost a year ago about how she missed Blase Blase. But she's then been forced to do so much crazy shit that I'm wondering if, if, if she's starting to have some sort of like uh, uh, a morality crisis. You know what I mean? Came out and lied about her brother violently molesting her. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, coming out and, and threatening her mother after her mom called the called DSS on Jennifer for Jennifer letting her boyfriend choke Johnny. And, and this, that, and a third. Kimberly's done a lot of bullshit. You know what I mean? And, and, and the, your average person, your average empathetic fucking kind, caring human being, Kimberly, who has a mothering instinct and a mothering bone in her body, who hasn't let her children, you know, fall to the wayside, who has a daughter who lives an alternative lifestyle uh, and who has supported that lifestyle and, and her daughter's way of thinking, you know, very lovingly, you know, since day one. I won't take anything from Kim for that. You know what I mean? She has displayed very kind caring, mothering traits, you know, in a way that Jennifer never has and that Jennifer never will. Huh? But Kimberly, you know, she fumbled. She fucked up, man. She made some damn shit that she can't fucking live down and that I'm not going to live down. I'm the, or that I'm not going to, that I'm not going to let her live down, that I'm not going to live up. I'll never accept this bullshit. And I'm not going to let it die. <clears throat> and I'm sure that she feels guilty about Jennifer obviously gives no fucks. You know, we've seen Jennifer, you know, be led by the nose time and time again. She's obviously living in Michael's fucking house still. You know, and that's how Michael wants them. They want he, Michael wants them to where he ha, he can control them. That's why he's never really offered any true help. This guy's gonna. We'll get to that in a second. I I still had visitors, and then my mom would come and tell me. So she's trying to say he just tried to say that he just tried to say that his mom would come and visit him and tell him all kinds of the drama that was going on at the house, and I tried to burn the house down. Blah 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 blah. It didn't happen in 2017. It happened while Johnny was at the house. What the fuck? For Christmas. Christmas break. So what happened, guys? I think I already told y'all this before, man. It happened in, what, 2014? Not 2017. 2014, back whenever Jennifer and all the boys were still living over at Jamie's house. I've already told this story before. I've owned up to it. And uh, uh, it was Christmas. Uh, all the boys were there. Man, it was fucked up. I shouldn't have got drunk, man. Dad came to the house, you know, they all gave us some, gave me some Christmas presents, some money for Christmas, you know, I made some bullshit up, but I had to run to the store real fast and grab me some damn cigarettes, which obviously I wasn't, it was Christmas time, I wanted to get drunk, 
I just got that PlayStation 4. Y'all remember we did the video. We did the video where Michael gave me a PlayStation 4 for Christmas. Y'all remember that? That was one of like one of the earlier videos that y'all would see me in. I was staying with Jennifer. I was watching the boys. Michael bought me a PS4. And I had no idea on heaven, heaven's green earth that I was going to get that PlayStation. If you look at my face in that video, dude, that was honest to God. Thunderstruck surprise from me, dude. I could not believe it, man. Like, it was like the most expensive, like, grandest gift that somebody could have got me, you know what I mean? And I'll say that to this day, you know, I was, I was floored. I was, you know, <laughs> I was very much shocked and surprised and thankful for that, you know. And, but anyways, dad came and gave me some money and shit. I wanted to get drunk. I wanted to play my game and get drunk, man. I just, I wasn't over it yet. I wasn't ready to damn change, I guess, you know. And uh, uh, Jennifer and Jamie, uh, they took the, they took, I, I forget what boys they took out. Maybe they went to take Johnny back to the, uh, to his group home, perhaps. Maybe that's why he wasn't there for when it happened. I don't know. But. You know, I got all fucking wasted and festive, and I'm like, Merry Christmas, we're going to go ahead and eat some pizza. Like, Jennifer and John, Jamie, they went to Walmart, and they bought a bunch of, like, pizza and, and, and Christmas stuff, you know what I mean, that they were going to make for Christmas dinner, like Christmas Eve, I think, or whatever, you know, and uh, uh, whenever they got back from wherever they were, you know, and then I guess I got freaking wasted and thought they were being too gone. They were gone too long, taking too long. So I went ahead and said, screw it. I preheated the oven, you know, and, and, uh, I guess I, I didn't realize the pizza was in the oven or maybe I put the pizza in the oven and went to sleep, burnt the pizza, you know, Jamie and them came home and the house was all smoked the fuck out. And Jamie was, uh, uh, Jennifer's, uh, uh, fiance. Did, did Jennifer and Jamie ever actually uh, 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 try to get married or whatever. Jamie was a, a, a firefighter from out of North Charleston. Go figure another firefighter that Jennifer met in that scene. And she would go and stay with them for a while. Well, it didn't work out. Jamie was a great a asshole. I've done talked enough about Jamie. Uh, but Jamie was not a good guy. No, Jamie was, uh, yeah, you know, he was, Jamie was too much by the book. Too much, Mister. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I mean, one hundred percent by the book. And if you're wrong, and if you don't, if you smoke a cigarette, you're bad. If you, you know, if if you drink too much beer, you're bad. You know, like, he was very judgmental in that. You know what I mean? And I didn't like the way that he favored his son over my nephews, and I hated the way that he would give the he would make the boys wake up at like six o'clock in the morning on Saturday and give them their medicines that would actually make the boys feel tired more tired, you know, and, and, and he would sit there and snap his fucking fingers in their faces and make them wake, wake up, wake up now, you know, and the boys all want to do is go just back to sleep or whatever, Saturday in the morning, and he's making them fucking stay up and shit, you know, watching Jacob freaking cry on the couch because all he wants to do is go back to sleep, and Jamie telling him tough shit, oh my god, oh my god, what's happening here? How's my uh my audio? Damn. Let me go check my shit out real quick. My audio fucked up. Sounds like my audio might be a little messed up here. How about now? Crap. Yeah, it's back on camera style, huh? All right, I'm going to cover your ears real quick. Could be my Wi-Fi. Crap. I don't know if I can unplug the mic because the mic. 
mic is plugged into the camera. Crap. Let me see. About now, <laughs> he says Mike's hacking the stream. All right, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to reboot this. Hold on a sec, I'll be right back. Or actually, I'm just not gonna plug it first. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna reboot. 